Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my Project Use It Up for 2018 finale. What did I use up and what is still currently in my collection to use up or throw away in 2019. So I have my list here on my phone of everything that I wanted to use up this past year in 2018. Honestly guys, I did so good. What I did for this list is I, you guys know I have a spreadsheet of all of my beauty products in my collection and I have it by oldest to newest and I wanted to use up a lot of the older items in my collection. I am so happy to say I used up a whole bunch. I do not have the items with me, a lot of them anymore. I had them in empties, told you guys reviews, but I will try and pop a picture if I can in one of the corners so you guys can see what the product looks like and I'll try and give you guys a review now of what I repurchased it, have I repurchased it things like that so let's just jump into the first it. thing is the next high definition eyeshadow base now this was a pretty okay eyeshadow base I wouldn't say it was amazing above and beyond I haven't repurchased it but I did use it up this year so really happy to have used the older eyeshadow product eyeshadow primer in my collection but I would wouldn't say it was amazing and run out and get it or highly recommend it the next two things are Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, and I am obsessed with them. I love them. Laura Mercier, however, I'm not 100% sure they are cruelty-free. I don't think they're Logical Harmony certified, but I've seen things pop up here and there that they are or not. So I'm kind of iffy about it, so I haven't been purchasing that much. But I had a full size of Moonlight, which is a gorgeous bronze. I love, love that shade. It's just perfect for every day to throw on, go out into the world, and you're good to go. Use that up. Also had so many deluxe sizes of the rose gold, and I used that up. I decluttered one and passed it to my mom or sister, and then I got another one from a Sephora play this year, and I kept it. And then I think I got an influencer box, and I got a full size of rose gold as well so I am stacked I'm good to go I love love the caviar six from Laura Mercier but I just wish they were 100% cruelty free so then I wanted to use up the older eyeshadows in my collection and that was from my Urban Decay Naked palette so I will leave those videos down below just kind of my pan that palette for Urban Decay Naked as far as it went so I had Buck Dark Horse, Hustle, and Naked. So I believe I used up Naked, and then I believe I decluttered the rest. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I used up quite a bit of the eyeshadows of the Urban Decay Naked palette, but I didn't use up completely. They no longer sell Urban Decay, the original Naked this year. That's something that they did away with. I've seen pictures, I think, of a revamp of it, but it's not like the same shadows in it or anything so I might check it out I don't know we'll see I don't need it probably for 2019 but just something interesting um so that one was kind of a fail then I wanted to use my wet and wild walking on eggshells <laughs> walking on eggshells eyeshadow trio and I was able to use that up completely the lid the crease and the outer shade and I love that eyeshadow trio it's cruelty free from the drugstore, really affordable price, quality is amazing, and I love it. I would totally repurchase when I get lower in my eyeshadow collection. Then I have the Lancome Noir Intense Drama Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. This is not a liquid eyeliner, it is a pencil eyeliner. Was not a fan of it, I had it from my influencer box. I wanted to use it up, so I did, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about that. Then I have two blushes, which I did not complete. One is the Ulta Adore blush, which is, I if you can see, right here. Yeah, right here. And you can see I worked on that baby so hard. I have such a great pan in that blush. I should be able to finish it next year. Um, this is one of the blushes that is no longer being sold at Ulta, but I really like it. It has a nice little sparkle to it. I think there's like really fine glitter to it. And then this is Pandora's Face Pink Carnation. And I hardly touched it, so that was kind of a fail. I use um, Santa Baby a lot from the Too Faced palette, and I really used, what was the other blush? This, no, oh no, where is it? 
this blush from Hourglass. This was like my favorite sneak peek for top beauty products of 2018, Mood Exposure. This was oh, my love in 2018. I love this. So I didn't use Pink Carnation that much, but I did use the old one. So then I have the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I did use that completely up. Then I have the Tarte Oak, the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. It had a weird scent to it, so I wouldn't repurchase it. Just wanted to mention that. The Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. So happy to be done with that. I didn't like the texture of it on my face. I can't go wrong with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I don't want to try anything else anymore. Nothing's as good as that for me. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I can't remember if this is the full size or the deluxe. I still have a little deluxe guy, so I think that's what it is. And yeah, I still have it going. It's a pretty thick concealer, but yeah, still working on that. The Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I did use that up. It was nice, very lightweight. I paired it with the Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. And those two were really great to pair together for underneath my eyes, but I wouldn't go out and purchase them separately to use together when I now use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and love that. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio. This had, I believe, all three powders on it when I started this year and now only has incandescent light, which is that middle shade, if you can see. So, so close to being done with this. This is such a beautiful palette. I love these powders. This is something I am totally gonna purchase again once I completely use them up. I've purchased Dim Light so many times. I have a full size of it I'm working on now. I've used up a full size this year. Just one of my go-tos. Then I have the Becca Liquid Opal Highlighter. I believe I used that up or I decluttered it. I can't remember, wouldn't repurchase. The Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It was a little deluxe simple. I enjoyed it. I liked the Cover FX one better. Then I have, you guys may know, my Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. And this had all the bronzers in it in the beginning of the year and now I've used up three completely and hit pan on Pink Leopard. I love, love this kind of format that they did with these bronzers. I've really enjoyed playing with these bronzers. I'm gonna continue to use these bronzers in 2019, but it's really sad because I started to find like my favorites and they don't sell them anymore. Like Endless Summer was my favorite bronzer and I don't think they have that shade anymore. So sad, but I do still really like this and I got some really good use out of it this past year. Then the YSL Rouge Volup Shine, a number two purple and contouchable. So happy to have used that whole lipstick up. It was really hard to use it in the majority of the year because I did have a newborn son. So I was kissing all over him and wanted a lip product that didn't go all over him. So I wouldn't wear it that much and then I would, but used it up. It Hair Care 12 in 1 Amazing Leave-In Treatment. It was nice, I wouldn't repurchase it, but I used it up. That It's a Miracle 10 Leave-In. I don't know if they're cruelty free or not, but I used it up. Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair Styler. So good. I love this, but they're not cruelty free, which is sad. I love this product for when my hair is damp and wet and I just put it in, go to sleep, and my hair feels really lightweight, moisturized without all of these little frizzies. It was so nice, but I didn't repurchase it. Then I have my like driving me crazy product. This is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Dual Ball little Roller Ball. This is Viva La Juicy and then Viva La Juicy Le Fleur. You can see I have quite a bit left to go. Hey guys, I am so sorry for the change of the way I look and maybe the lighting and everything. Uh, my camera died and then it just got to New Year's and was busy, and so now I'm here to complete this video, but I was talking about the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy perfume. So I haven't completely used it up. It's, the scent is still there, but yeah, this is one of the things that I really need to try and finish and use up in 2019 since I didn't finish in 2018, and that was kind of my goal. Rollerballs were just kind of hard for me to use 
last year just due to having a newborn and not wanting too much fragrances around him. I think right now it's totally fine to wear perfumes. Also, I'm not a big fan of roller balls themselves. I'd rather have like a spray roller ball, if that makes sense, when they come with a spray or a full size and then something like this. It's just easier for me to use. The next thing is the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. I love that thing. I did use it up completely and it is my favorite face moisturizer for day and night. It's a very like lightweight moisturizer but just makes my skin feel really smooth and soft. I love it. I'm really happy I used it up and I would definitely purchase another one. Then I have my Origins Drink Up Intensive. This is the overnight mask. Now I was on the fence last year about how I liked this if I wanted to give it away or not but when I do use it I really enjoy using it. So this is kind of like a deep hydrating moisturizer that you can put on your skin, leave it on overnight, and you don't have to rinse it off or anything. So that's what it means by overnight mask. It really does help hydrate my skin. I like the scent of it as well. I apologize for all my baby little hairs postpartum loss. It does help hydrate the skin. Um, I don't think I would repurchase it. I got down to about here, so not even used up half of it, but I will try and continue to use this up for 2019. Then I had the Balance Guru No Frizz Oil. I believe I used that up. I couldn't find it. Um, I really did enjoy that for my hair. I also liked having a little bit of that. No, wait. The no. The next thing was the Balance Guru No Frizz Oil, and I loved that product. I would apply it into my hair, sometimes with conditioner, sometimes on its own and I really liked the way it helped my hair with the frizz. I do need to go and repurchase that. And then the next thing, which is the last thing I wanted to use up, was the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil and I loved that as well. It's kind of pricey though. I could apply that into my hair. I really liked using it though with my moisturizer. I would put a little bit of the Argan Oil, mix it in with my body lotion and it just made my skin feel really great. So that is everything that I wanted to use up in 2018. I plan on doing a Project Use It Up 2019 intro plan video very soon. I have to go and look at all my products, spreadsheet, see what's kind of achievable, have some challenges in there like this project was, but I'm really happy with all of the things that I was able to use up. I used up even more than that this past year. I'll leave my empties video, empties, playlist down below for you guys who are interested in more reviews of projects and products that I was able to complete in the year of 2018. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.